Hey, how you doing? This is Tom, and this is Tom's Radio Room Show. And this is my setup for trying to record some communications between amateur radio operators and satellites passing overhead. And I set it up. I've got down here, let me get a pointer here. Oh. Yeah. Down here. I have my scanner radio, it's just a, uh, a VC370, nothing special, and I got the output of that going over to the mic input, this does not have a line input, to this old laptop, and I'm using the Xcorder program that runs on Windows XP, it doesn't run on Windows 7, at least I couldn't get it to work properly. And I plugged in um, four frequencies of four satellites that are amateur radio satellites. And these are what's called the downlink frequencies. The frequencies at which the satellite itself is transmitting back down. So by only programming in the downlink, I will only hear one side of the conversation. I didn't take the time to program the uplink. So, I then, yesterday, used the program Orbitron and printed out the schedule of passes overhead, or nearly overhead, for the next uh, 12 to 24 hours. And I missed one right at noontime yesterday. I wasn't set up, so I missed that one and that was supposed to be from the ISS passing over here. Today, there was another pass of the ISS at 1 o'clock. And this, I think, is what I captured. So, stand by. Let me start this again. Whoops, hit it twice. Okay, what you're hearing there, I think, is a nearby frequency. One that I know of, or used to know of, was for amateur radio packet radio. And that was on 145.23. I think that's what that is. It could be something closer, because the closest frequency I have plugged into the scanner is 145.8. So, and I got, I got about... Oh, 12 minutes of that, bzz, 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 which is data, I think it's packet data, um, out of the 15 minutes it recorded overnight, for the last 12 hours, actually, last 24 hours. And so, so I got, out of the 15 minutes of recording I got, I got about, oh, half of that is bzz, bzz, just packet data. Coming up is the important one. It'll be up here in a few more seconds. One SS has you loud and clear, over. He said ISS. Now what this is, is uh, a number of times the astronauts who's running the amateur radio station on the International Space Station will set up a time frame to talk to uh, students at a school. And uh, of course they'll pick a time when the satellite will be passing as much as possible right overhead so they'll get the best chance for communicating with them. This pass, and let me look on my sheet here, um, at my location, the highest elevation 
was at 54 degrees. So that's the highest it got when it passed over my house. Its starting azimuth was 130 degrees, if I read this right. Uh, let me see. Um, let me look this again. No, correction. That's 130 degrees was at, when it was at that highest level of 54 degrees. It started at 187 degrees, traveled northeast to 47 degrees, and that's when it went below the horizon. So I'm going to shut up now and let you hear the whole thing. It's about uh, nine minutes, I think. So here we go. Great question, Ben. Uh, I've seen auroras, which are really spectacular. They're not all the time, but we see them every now and then up uh, in the
you know, pieces of the heart and how they work in microgravity, just so we can understand it more, so that if we do send people to Mars, uh, we can understand how it can affect their cardio system. Over. And they want to have clear. Enjoy it. You guys have a great weekend. Over. My pleasure. Uh, I know you guys are from Charleston, so I love that area. Took some great pictures of there. I, I posted one on social media. Hopefully you guys can check it out. Over. Okay, I um, apparently I was able to capture the whole um, setup or the whole um, scheduled event because we heard him talk about uh, this is the ISS at the beginning, and then now he just signed off, and uh, I can't believe it. My first try, it worked. And, like as I said before, they set up these events to talk to kids in a school someplace. And an amateur operator will go to a school, he'll set up the equipment, and then bring the kids in or that are interested and let them ask questions, talk to the astronauts. Like I said, I only was copying the downlink from the satellite. I wasn't trying to copy the uplink. And therefore you only heard him talking. You did not hear the students asking him questions. Now I believe I'm looking through all the little snippets it made of the audio during that couple of hours and trying to see if I can find it easily might be this one. Uh, no. I've got, I think I've, no, that's right. Maybe with, let me just, so you can play these annual individual little snippets. There's one that's 11 minutes. Let me play that. And I'll hit resume. Oops, it, I double clicked it. Okay, no, that's not it. That's, and that's at 8 minutes. I think it says 8 minutes. Yeah, that was, nope. That must be, it's not minutes, it um, must be seconds. So I need something that's a much longer than that. Now this is at... It says eight minutes into the recording. So let me back up here and see if I can find a longer one. I'm trying to find a real long one. Well, let me look at time, because this should have been around 1 o'clock, 1 p.m. Uh, I'm having to, to squint over the camera to see anything. There's a 27. Well, let's just try that one. And we'll hit resume. Nope, I still just did it. Okay, anyway. Um, you pause it. So anyway, I could pick out of um, all those little snapshots it took in the 24 hours and find the one that that communications took place during. And it should have been if my um, prediction sheet was correct, it should have been about 1 o'clock yesterday afternoon. I'm still not Time-wise, I'm still not down to 1 o'clock. Oh, well, I'll, I'll find it later. So, it wasn't that difficult. And I just happened to have it monitoring when they had one of these school events. And, uh, and you can, if you have an amateur radio license, uh, at least a technician's level license, you can talk to the astronauts. They are more than willing to talk to you. Now, they don't do it every day, and 
It doesn't always coincide with a pass over your house, but I could set up my ICOM transceiver, plug in the frequency that's the upload frequency, which is um, in 70 centimeter band, and watch my satellite tracking program, and when they come over, listen for them, and if I have an opportunity, I could talk to them. So, I will try that. Um, that's about it. <laughs> I'm amazed it worked the first time, and I didn't get... The other request is I've got three other satellites that just amateur operators op operate on. They talk to each other. And I will try to capture one of those. I did not capture, I went through this whole um, file that I captured in the last 24 hours and there were no other contacts on the other bands. And I need to also track down what that data is that's coming in. It's, it's filling up um, the file with just that data. That bzz, bzz, i got to figure out where that is, whether it is maybe one of the other frequencies I put in, or maybe I left a frequency in my scanner that I didn't zero out. I'll have to track that down and find out why. Because I was getting that off and on the, during the, the 24 hours, which is kind of random. So I should be able to track that down and get rid of that. But that's about it. If you enjoyed this, please give me a thumbs up. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye-bye.